A huge part of it is the debt write-down, but that isn't happening for everybody, or is it? No, it's not. So uh, each case is done on a bank-by-bank -bank basis, which in of itself is despicable, given that this is an eligibility criteria that is self-defining. These are people who cannot pay. They're not attending repossession courts at buckets and spades looking to go on holidays. They have no money. But some lenders do participate in mortgage rent, which is to be welcomed. Um, but they don't write off the debt, despite their eligibility being social housing. So I've met with a number of banks leading up to this while we were negotiating this with AIB for the last 15 months. Uh, we met them. There's been positive vibes, to be fair to them. Uh, we're being very positive in going forward because this is a cohort of people that if this doesn't happen, Ray, they will lose ownership of their home and there will be an emergency accommodation. This is the least expensive way for the state. It's a dignified way. It's a hum human way to prevent people becoming homeless. How many